Hi guys, let me show you how to run the .NET Core project in, in Visual Studio. So .NET Core along with the Angular 4. So this is pretty interesting. The topic is .NET Core, Angular 4 and Visual Studio. So you can utilize your Visual Studio for server side coding along with that you can utilize your Visual Studio for the client side coding. Let me show you how it, it can be done. See in my previous video I have shown you some steps which you can run through and uh, go to the So the, these are the simple steps which you have to run. Open the command prompt, check the version, and then install the uh, gwebpack yo generator ASP.NET Core project. And in my case, it is already installed. So I'm gonna to follow the steps from here, uh, where I will create a directory and I will create uh, one project over here. Type uh, by using the command. So your ASP.NET Core ISPA command will run the project, create the project for you. I'm sorry, it will create the project for you. So let me go and uh, show you something interesting. So let me go and create one folder over here in Angular 4 with uh, .NET Core VS 2015. One. Okay. So I am going to this, I will be opening this command prompt over here. So I have opened the command prompt, once I have opened the command prompt, just type the command yo ASP.NET Core hyphen ISPA. Now you have to just wait for uh, approximately 10 to 15 seconds and it is doing its job. And now it is asking me which project you would like to create. So this is the generator which can help you to create the project uh, with uh, multiple client side libraries as well. So here is my selected option is Angular. I will say enter. It will, it is asking me whether you would like to create the unit test project or not. Uh, right now I will say no. So I, I said N. And uh, let's, let me name some project. It is asking the name of the project. So Angular 4 with uh, dot .NET Core Core VS 2015 let's go one and the moment I will say it will create the project for me yeah it is creating that okay at the same time you can see on the background it is doing something for me okay so the moment this process will be uh, a finish we'll uh, resume it back and I will show you what is the next so just uh, Thank you. Continue. Yeah, guys. So we are here till now. It has created lot of directory and it is restoring my new packages for me. And uh, it will come to this situation. And you can just go to that physical directory uh, as it is in the background for me. And it has created the project for me. Now the next step is that according to my PPT, it says that uh, it will create the project for you. Go to the physical directory. You will see the project. Now go to VS 2015 and create a project with .NET Core and web application. Okay. So what exactly we are doing? The project which has been generated by the generator, we will merge into Visual Studio 2015. So here is the step to do that. I am going to Visual Studio 2015. Just I will go and create one project. Select the web template .NET Core, Angular 4. Angular 4 with the .NET Core, .NET Core 1. Let's see. So I will simply say, just go and create the project for me. Uh, it is asking uh, which application. So I will just select the web application over here. And I will not select anything else other than that. And it will go, Visual Studio will go and generate the project for me. So this is the project which Visual Studio has generated to, for me. And let me go and show you the command prompt status. You will see the status of the project got created by code generator and you will see this kind of screen over here. Go to the folder where you have created the project with the command prompt. These are the files over here. Now let me tell you the steps. First of all, go to www root and delete everything inside whatever is there in www root. So yeah, well, let me show you. So I will uh, just go here and say delete from here. Okay, so let me go delete. It has deleted for me. 
okay now i will go and say delete to the controller as well delete to the views as well okay and what else is pending from us i know nothing else so uh, in order to do that looks like i have to basically go to that physical directory delete the controller delete the views just deleted it and i'm done i will just refresh it load the project it again okay no problem and since it is running that's why it was not able to allow me to do that and i will just say the clean build okay no problem the clean has succeeded now in my as per my uh, video you just go say control a don't copy node models don't copy objects copy views w uh, don't copy ww root as well don't copy this files don't copy app settings levels just copy packages don't copy programs setups and don't copy web config so these are the files it looks like which we need to copy so controller views and packages and ps config and that that just copy these files paste it over here so i will be pasting those files over here these files got pasted and just according to my document we are here yeah so let me show you next step what it is telling so these are the files which you you need to copy and paste into your visual studio projects so just have a look on that and just now you go to manage nuget package manager install microsoft asp.net core mbc tag helpers and asp.net core spark services so once you will install these things let me go to the visual studio and show you the project over here angular 2 with the dot net core which i have already created in order to reduce the time but the process doesn't differ over here this will be the same over here so it is uh, just opening for me and uh, i'm just closing this one so yeah just a moment it uh, it will just open yes guys so just go to the visual studio and uh, say manage new new word packages over here the moment you say the manage new word packages over here it will give you the options to browse through th those packages and those are two packages which i have mentioned in my document over here saying that you just go and uh, install the microsoft sp.net core mbc tag helper and uh, microsoft sp.net core spa services the moment you will do these things from here tag helper and uh, other stuffs whatever the packages are in my case it is already installed so you need to just install those two packages the moment you have done with the, those two packages just go to the dependencies right click on the dependencies and say the restore packages it will take uh, approximately a minute and it will restore all the packages for you once package is restored i'm sure you would be very happy and you will see the screen like this so let me run over here the project and uh, show you what is going to happen over here and here is my ppt which i will show you again maybe you could miss some step from here so these are the steps here we were you need to just upgrade and one more thing i forgot to mention over here the moment you install asp.net core mbc tag helper and asp.net core spa services you will get some kind of warning messages for these packages just upgrade those packages as well and restore the package then just restore the package and you will see the screen over here so let me show you what screen has come for us so yeah yeah here your web application is running over here so these are my steps which you could follow and run through the project if you are missing any kind of so concur please follow all the steps carefully and you are good to go with the angular core with the dot net core in visual studio when i learned this it is wow feeling for me i hope you too had enjoyed it please like subscribe and comment on my channel thanks for watching these are the steps which i followed this 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 and this is the first slide which I made for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. I hope you will enjoy these things and you can get started with the project very fast. Thank you.